you know, finally, somebody has come up with a way for us to store stuff that's really, really nice and not that industrial, you know, crummy looking, just cardboard box looking thing. You throw it in the corner, you get rid of it and it's terrible. We have created a box here, I should say improvement has for us for our today's special, which is exclusive. Nobody has this. You can't go anywhere and find this, but right here, and this is our rolling storage bag and cube set. It's a two piece set. The first time we've ever done it as a today's special. Brand new, we have exclusive sizes, we have exclusive colors, and boy, you are gonna absolutely love this. It's instant storage wherever you go. Come on over and I'll show you some of the great colors that we have. You know, we, and as I said, we fancied it up this year because we realized, you know, people are gonna be doing holiday storage. They're gonna be doing their bedroom, their linens, things like that. So you want the storage to look nice. Quickly, quickly, before I go colors, let me show you what you get. So you're gonna get your choice of this, of the big jumbo uh, container. And this is the huge one. This is the one you're gonna be able to put up to 30 pounds of stuff inside here. And then inside one of these, you're also gonna get, as an extra bonus, we're also gonna give you the storage cube. So this is a, this is storage within storage. Uh, and this has got a little uh, view window on the side, so if you're storing things like Christmas ornaments or whatever it is, whatever you have, you've got all that storage built into one. There's even little zipper pockets on the top. So we're gonna put up our color chart so you can see everything that we have available. And remember, you can't find these anywhere but right here at HSM. So we've got the gray. We're calling that the gray ivory. We have it in that beautiful red. Boy, if you're st storing holiday stuff, you'll love the red. It comes in the black and brown, with a little brown handle. Remember, each one of those big boxes has wheels so you can port it around. Uh, we also have it in the blue on blue. We have it in the toile. I just like saying twall. Uh, it comes in twall, comes in leopard, comes in floral, and then it comes in the script, which is real fancy writing. All these for one day, they're $49.95. We reduce the shipping down to $3, and we put it on FlexPay of only $9.99. Give us a call if you'd like to talk to us. My very good friend Tim Wilkins is here as he wheels his beautiful storage solution right in. And I'll tell you something, Tim. Anybody that has to carry boxes or anybody that has to carry big bins or whatever they are, appreciates having wheels on that. We are both Great. lifters. We lift, we work out. We do. I got a bad back and iffy hips. And if you're one of those people at home that <laughs> says, that. you know, that how many times have you reached in, yeah. gotten one of these, which is already ugly enough, barely holds anything, and you, you just don't lift right. And now you're thinking, I can do this all on wheels and for the first time ever, it's coming with the cube. But check this out. You know when I wheeled this in? That was already in there. That's how much storage you're that. getting. Yeah. And you're getting, for the first time ever, let's get rid of this ugly thing, I'll get rid of yeah. that in a minute. And for the first time ever, like you said, Guy, you're getting the storage cube, and not only does it have this, the peekaboo side, it's got a little window so you can label on top. Love now, it. I'll take this out and show you other cool things. Mm -hmm. Improvements is constantly improving, and I'll show you, we have so many great examples of how to use this. You've got the mesh pockets on the side, and then on top, you've got zippered pockets for more storage and more organization. Love that. One of the ways that people have loved this, crafters. Extra scissors and crinkly cutters and yeah. all the great things in the ribbers and bows and patterns and all sorts of things that go in there. This has been such a solution. Now, listen to this, though. Reinforced right. on the sides yep. with cardboard to give this extra sturdiness and reinforced handles, heavy duty stitching on the sides. So you yeah. can pull it out of a closet, you can pick it up. I'm gonna last you for years. years, years and years and years. years. Yep. I, I've actually had uh, two of these for about two and a half years. I will tell you something too the cube that goes inside that is the perfect size for holding a, a king size comforter. You know the, how it never goes back in the container when you pull it out? Oh. It's always, you know, the plastic. So if you are putting Putting your comforters away or your big king size blankets, the cube is ideal and it keeps all the bugs and the nasties and the moisture and all that stuff out as well. And that also tucks neatly inside. You can use these together in tandem or you can use them as two separate pieces. We also have, look at the beautiful florals that we did here. And this look is- Look at this. Look, this, we, is, this is, this like is your holiday, holiday ornaments. Yeah. This is this one. And then down on the side, we put some other things, some of these beautiful wreath bows you're not going to want to have wrecked. This is actually a three foot Christmas tree. And then up here, another great example of how to use this all these other little extra light boxes and ornaments and yeah. things that you normally wouldn't have a place oh for many gosh. lights perfect this is such a beautiful way to store things by the way the floral and the red are really really limited yeah and i can just see this being such a beautiful holiday storage solution and now all you know, in one and all in one all too, in right one. everything and is there because you've got a lot of storage this is there. like three bins yeah when you when you it really is. get down to brass tacks but now unlike the bins where everything's just tossed in there 
everything is organized and protected yeah. and you pull this out nice and easy. Well, and I said, Tim, whether you're using this in your home, in your attic or wherever you have a storage area or a storage, separate storage place, because I have a, you know, I, I have a small house, so I have a storage, pretty substantial storage yeah. facility and I, and a lot of stuff is in boxes and I, and when I go there, I'm like, it's musty when you take it out. This is a way to keep all the little creepy crawlies out. It's a way to keep the dust and the dirt because a lot of those places might be air conditioned. They're not very clean because people are in and out with trucks and all that nasty stuff. Let's take a walk. Yeah, let's keep While moving. they're showing this footage, let's come over here and we'll come to the bedroom first and show you this at the foot of the bed, which I absolutely love. Okay. We have a ton of guests coming in, especially this time of the year. When you're it gets a popular friend. You're, you're, you're a famous guy. Well, well, no, I cook for the people. That's why they come <laughs> to my I house. Know, I know something. <laughs> you, you, you know the feeling. You're a yes, cook. Yes, yes. So when you have those guests coming over and you want to put out the guest linens, you want to keep other things they may okay, need, extra you got towels. all in there. All in there. Yeah. You want to put some more washcloths in here, maybe some puffies and some extra pillow soap cases, sure. pillowcases. Yeah. And when you're not using it, when you want to put this somewhere else, Look maybe you want to put this back over in a corner, that is such an easy way to have beautiful storage. That's awesome. Now, I love that it comes with the matching cube, and I'll show you in a minute all the available cubes that can come with it to make this a total storage solution. We come over here, this is by far my yeah. favorite. Oh, check this out. I'm gonna pull this over where they can really get at it. Okay. Crafters. Love this, and yeah, I no, totally get why. But look at the capacity. You've got a full-size sewing machine, a cricket, a laminator, and then if you're into the memory books and you're into yeah. scrapbooking, if you want to keep your uh, your gift bags and things squared away, yep. and then of course, the, the pockets. Yeah, there's the lots of space inside lots here. Lots of space, but yep. to keep all these things neat and tidy, what's all this? Oh, all glitters and things sure. and little tapes. All that is now not smashed down. If if you can find something, you're going to use it. You spend all well, this money on your crafts. Yeah, and, and normally when you know oh, when, when, when you think is. about storage, you think, okay, I have to have several boxes. This is all in one because of the size of it. It's ideal to put everything that you need to put inside there, whether it's, hey, listen, it could be summer, it could be all our beach towels, right? I got 20 beach towels, they're all giant, I want to I want to store them somewhere. It could be, for your kids, it could be their toys, it could be their collectibles, their little knickknacks, things like that. Well, it's I mean, great you should say yeah, that, guy, yeah, yeah, because look, look, look. look at this. Now, Let's pull this one out. Yeah. Pull that gotcha. out. All the stuffed animals. So my middle just went off to college. She's got her own place. She's doing her own thing. We we tricked out the room. Sorry, and I'm, I'm dumping them out the, just to show all you. All the stuffed animals had to go somewhere. No, you didn't. And then there's a pillow in there too. There's a pillow. There's all this stuff. And then of course, you still have the cube that came with it that you can use for extra storage or extra organization, extra needs. Yeah. If you have the grandkids that come over. Keep this and all the toys and all the puzzles like we do for my nieces and ah. nephews. <laughs> Sorry, I had in, to give you that one. In, uh, <laughs> so when are we going to hide the Nellie's lamb yeah, in there somewhere? Exactly. <laughs> to, to put all the games and toys in there to have it neat. And they know when they're done playing, before they leave, yeah. they put all the toys and things back in there. You zip it up and put it away. It's they all. They come out and like Guy just did, yeah. you dump it out and go, play well, away, well, kids, you, have you, fun. You saw the big mess that we just put down there on the floor. And then what's great about this, and I'll pull this little zipper out. Well, let's come over here. Got I'm going to show you something else. Oh, and look you at can that. see how, how, it, how it zips right up. And now everything is there and there's no mess. You see what I'm saying? I love that. All right, now, where are we going now? We're going over here because right. this is the spot where we all need organization. Diane Gilman was here yesterday. And a lot of people, 60,000 people said, I want those pants. Yeah. Well, then you're getting into your fall and winter clothes. You want to put away your spring and summer. Now you're able to have those in there. You can see. You can actually see through the peekaboo window up here. And there it is. You can see through the yeah. peek of a window. And you can even label them up top in the little labeling card What's and say, inside there? you know, yeah. spring pants, sure. sweaters, knits, whatever it is. You can use this in or out of the cube. Yep. Now, this has stuff in it. This, if you think about all your beach type stuff, maybe you have a, a vacation house somewhere you're three or four months a year. Sure. You just load this into the load RV in. SUV yeah, and take so nice. all that with you. And I love the fact that in addition to the wheels, you still have you still have grab handles all the way around this thing, so you can't pick it up and put it into a van, or you know, or into a storage area, or whatever, up into an attic, wherever you need to put it. But keep in mind, this is going to keep everything fresher. It's going to keep everything up without the dirt and the dust and all the stuff that settles on it. It's a great way to organize yourself. So much better than the big plastic bins. And the big plastic bins break. They're kind of, they're hard shelled. They don't give it all. So you can only. Get 
get what you can get inside and that's it. With ours, because they're that fabric material on the outside and they're all reinforced, they, they give you the stability and the structure that you want, but they also give you a little room to grow, so to speak. So if you want to put, you know, extra things inside there, you can stuff them right inside. We just went over 4,500 of these gone for the day. I want to remind everybody too, don't we have some other sizes we're offering? We do, I'll show those because we're, yeah. get, we're getting into right now we created a, uh, a prepper disaster kit, kind of your emergency preparedness kit okay. that everybody should have, no matter where you are. Earthquakes, hurricanes, fires, mm -hmm. floods, tornadoes, whatever it is. Now, down here, these are actually two of the other sizes that are available. This is the 16 by 16 by eight, and we put two of those in there. So what we've got here is your 148 meals. And oh, we've got, we got your wise. little wise meals. And then in here, you see it labeled up here, first aid kit, radio and towels. So that's in there. And then over here, I got to move for this one. Here's your waters. So now you've got it all in one spot. We yeah. actually have a room in the house that's kind of our safe room. Smart. Pull that right into the sure. safe room. The rest of the time, pull that right out because yep. it's also our pantry. You've got in here, you've got extra lighting that plugs in. It's also got a charger for your phones. All the stuff your you're going to need. This yeah. is important papers, yeah, birth certificates important. and whatnot. That's one thing I didn't, you know, that I got last minute. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to grab my insurance policies and all these things. And this is a great way to be able to keep everything all in one spot. Extra flashlight up yeah. here. Actually, there's a couple of them in there. And then over here, all the things you're going to need are in one spot. A few more meals, maybe this. Mm -hmm some of that cool uh, beverage they you had in that kit. You know what this would be great too for, for, for me is, is that I live in Florida and I have, but I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a northerner, so I have, I love to ski. In fact, I'm going up north, as I said, next week. I have a lot of like jackets and clothes that I never wear here. So they're not worth putting, they're not worth hanging up. No, so and, I, I mean, and they, the ski they, stuff, they, you gotta have sweaters. your gloves and hats yeah. and the face thing. Yeah, I'm yeah, a yeah, big yeah. skier too. And to have that in one spot and to be able to label this ski stuff. Ski stuff, yeah. And then in the cube, you're able to put in your hats and gloves gloves and mittens and things because if you don't attach them with a little clip, you've got one glove over here and you're going, hey, these <laughs> no. gloves were 60 bucks. Where is that exactly glove? Exactly right. Yeah, but I think things like bedding and towels and I mean, there's so much that, that you just don't want to stick on a regular shelf because you're not going to use them that often, right? Maybe it's your, like maybe it's summertime and like here, you know, we don't go to the beach that much when it's, it gets cold here in Florida, believe it or not, in the 50s and 60s. So we can put some of that stuff away. This is a great way to store it. Well, holiday stuff, crafting, whatever it is. Now, here are the different sizes. We're going to get to this in the new and I'll yeah, play yeah. puzzle piece over here and really put this together so you can see how this is a storage system. How these cubes work together, how, so here's what it comes with. It comes with the 16 by 16 by 16. So let's put that one in there. So that, that you get. That you get. And here you get a two pack of the 16 by eights. Let's put these in. And of course these are all labeled. So this is pillows, you see mm -hmm. that in our little window. And, and they will all fit in there, by They'll the way. They'll all fit in there. Oh, I gotta get There's those. that. I gotta get those, Let's check too. this out. Towels. That'll go in there. That's You get a four-pack of these, and you still got two more, and then this closes up. And look how pretty that is with the piping, the handles, the colors. And, and by the way, if you're getting more than one, ooh. the colors all interact. Well, and, and listen, you don't need to buy the Today Special to get these. If you want to just buy the other ones, that's completely fine, too. I think it's, it's the best way to do it is in the whole big deal. But if you want to just buy a two-pack uh, or a four-pack, you got $24.95 and $29.95. And then a single is only $19.95. And by the way, these are on flex pay as well with the reduced shipping and handling. I'm glad Tim pulled all those out because that shows you, you know, really, realistically, Tim, for about 100 bucks, you can get all of it. All of it. I mean, and, and you've got all that storage. You can use all this, ex an organization and neatness yeah. and having your extra linens protected from the elements so when you go to change out a bed or you go to change out that guest room, mm -hmm. you're not going... <laughs> Oh, the no. guests are almost here. I gotta wash you. You know, this, this is stuff. the time to buy this too because it's holiday season, a time where you have a lot of stuff that's moving in, that's moving out. You're changing. Uh, you, you know, you could be changing. Like even some people even have different towels for different seasons. Oh, absolutely. That you need to change in and out. What do you do with those? Do you put them in a bag? Please tell me you don't put them in a plastic bag and then put them in a cardboard box. Yeah, tell me you don't do that because that's disgusting. You well, want to do it in a way that's that's neat and tidy and a way that's clean, but in a way that's a little bit stylish. I know you even, you know, we're guys, but we want a little bit of style. Well, and, and we always have someone in our life that will put our style and neatness and organization together. Yes. And Because that's not my forte. I don't have that either. <laughs> I said, I'll be down yeah, cooking Danny's while you're making things that. look pretty and smelling good. Not <laughs> my bag. Right. So no. now you want to talk <clears throat> capacity. Of course, we talked about how industrial and, you know, not yeah. fun looking these are but this has literally three pairs of shoes in it here it doesn't move it's yeah it doesn't move it's kind of what it is we come over to this one there's another four or five pairs in there 
There are 17 pairs of boots, shoes, sandals, flip yeah. flops, thongs, espadrilles, push ups, whatever it is you want to put in there. They're zipped up and tidy and taken care of. When your shoes aren't taken care of, you know not only do you not want to wear them, but you don't even see them. So many great things in here, and the organization, the thigh high boots, look at all that's in there. It would take three or four of those bins, and yeah. how much space do those take up? And for that matter, when you say, all right, this is all my fun wintry boots and galoshes and all the things, you pull this out. That, yeah, and, that, and that's the biggest thing. That's no what more puts it over the top. And toting and well, puts it. and I wonder how many people have hurt themselves trying to do stuff like that and thinking that they can handle it. And the problem when you do, when you do store things too is it's uneven. Though. You know, weights are different, and so you think you can do it. Uh, you don't. You don't put a lot of thought into it. It's not like you do your stretches before, like you do when you're trying to work out. Like we understand, you just get up and you do it. You make a dumb mistake. This enables you to wheel it, which is the smart way to do it. If I had a dollar for every time, oh, I know, I know. It's never the deadlift. It's the picking up a sock. We go, yeah. no. Oh, that's gonna be three you know, days. You know, the worst time I hurt myself, I herniated a disc when I was a younger guy. I was, I was actually, and it wasn't, no, it wasn't pole vaulting, <laughs> Kyle. It wasn't playing football. All these things I did, you know I did it? I was putting frozen chicken in a cooler at work. That's, and I, and I, cause the, the, the inspector was coming, we were doing an outdoor oh, event, yeah. the inspector was coming and I had chicken sitting on the side of the thing. I'm like, oh, I gotta put it in a cooler. I went like this, I went like that. And then I dropped to the ground. And that's it. And I was like, what? Weeks. Weeks you're the hospital with oh. radiated disc. And I'm like, ah, I played all these sports. I never hurt myself. It's like you said, it's little things like it's carrying the little things our when, storage when All that can be fixed yeah. by using wheels. Now, you're a northern guy. I lived in Minnesota. Mud room. Yeah, It's right? not just the sports. When you switch out the sports, if you have this in the garage, so you know where everything is, out by the pool. But to be able to throw all the stuff in there and keep everything neat and tidy. All That's the, so great. All your sporting kids are stuff. coming sure. in and out. Yeah. The boots, the hats, the whatever. And to be able to, let me switch around on this side, to be able to pull this out in the yard, to be able to throw this in the back of oh, the yeah. car or the truck, Maybe that one's got extra uniform stuff in it. Well, you know what? I was thinking, I was talking to Michelle. Michelle, you can come out if you want. Michelle, Michelle's got two, she has two boys, right? Yes. I'm just gonna pull you out here really quick. Five-year-old and a two-year-old. Because I want to get your take, take on this too, because I know uh, you work working mom and, and running yeah. around. There's gotta be, you, there's gotta be a hundred ways you would use this. Okay, two big things I wanted to say about this, and I'm telling, hand of the heavens, the truth. We use a wagon that the kids are too big for. Now yeah. we put all their toys in the wagon just because we need the wheels, I need the wheels specifically, yeah. for when we want to go and play. So if I could have something like this that is actually meant for storage oh, and yeah. everything's not falling out, it'd be great. But I'm also thinking about in the closet, the bottom half of your closet, there's so much wasted space. Like I have yeah. piles of shoes and, and random you know, blankets and things. So if you really wanna maximize that space, you can get it all organized and have it protected as well. Yeah. You know? I, and I love, the, I love that you can do it in style and you can do it in colors because the thing about cardboard, cardboard's just, it's industrial. It's like, that, that's, yeah. that's not a permanent solution. Cardboard no. is like, okay, I have to move something from this part of the country to the other part. I'll buy some boxes, but, but I'm not gonna save them. Well, I'll tell you an interesting <clears> thing about that is uh, a couple of rainstorms, we have actually lost the cardboard where it's come in under the garage door. Right. It's ruined the bottom couple of boxes and the yeah. rest of the boxes toppled over because of the weight. It's, it's not. It's no. not gonna last. And they, bugs always get in the cardboard. Bugs and moisture. Yeah. Bugs and moisture and you're ruining stuff. Now, you got the features on this which make this so great, but here's the other beautiful thing. People are buying two, four, six, eight because not only these HSN exclusive colors and configurations and the whole storage system, but we made these to match each other and yeah. offset each other. So you've got the gray and the script that have piping and colors and things. Most that popular cool are still is this script. Very popular. Yeah. Well, we had this in the uh, ironing station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tens of thousands of this People script. Love it. This looks like it's been on a trip and it's coming back to tell you how fun it has. Now, the the blue, is this the blue or the navy, Kyle? This is the blue. I wanna remind everybody we're putting five minutes up until we have to move on and I know a lot of you are sitting there going, oh my gosh, I'm gonna buy one or two sets of these. But um, we wanna go, we wanna give you an idea of colors. So this one I think is the... B blue, and this is the twall. This is the twall. And the blue and the twall are meant to kinda interact and go right. together. The piping is very new as well. We gave this offsetting piping. This is the black and, and the, the leopard. The black and brown and the leopard, leopard. is new. Yeah. But look how these go together and how cool these are, if you're thinking, and even using the different cubes back and forth within each other. The red is very limited, and the floral is new for this configuration, too. And those are really meant to interact and go together. Yeah. And the storage solution, the first time we've ever done the cube, 
And the first time they added the peekaboo side and the labeling uh, card as yeah. well. And to get both of these for under $50 is the deal of the day. Normally these would be $69 bucks, <clears throat> and today we're doing them under $50 at $49.95. The shipping is only $3. We reduced the shipping on these as well, and we put them on FlexPay. It's less than $10 to get these home. So look around your house and think, where could I use and what would I use these for? Um, I mean, Everybody is different. It depends whether you have family or kids, where you live, because you have a lot of seasonal items. I know, like, I'm from New England, so, oh, man, you got, we have, we change out our bedding three times a year. We, you know, we only use beach towels in the summer. I mean, there's so many different opportunities to use it. Uh, you got a husband that, or, or, or a wife or kids that play golf or tennis or, or volleyball, whatever. Where do you store that stuff in the off season? Do you just, what, do you put it in a basket in the corner? Do you put it in a bucket somewhere, one of those awful bins? Look at this poor woman. She's killing herself. Look at that. Bin. Don't do it. And the amount of stuff you can put in. They actually, Look at that. This is a new size. I don't know if I yeah. told you that. We Sizes had a, and colors you'll only find here. We had a smaller size and we had a very big size that some right. people said, nah, I'm not sure if that's too big for me. This is, this a, is a middle size yeah. that we created. And if you think about just your holiday stuff, if you think about just labeling this holiday ornament so that you can see, and you can see through, where's my peekaboo side? You can see through the peekaboo side, 16 by 16 by 6. The three foot tree is in here. Your uh, ribbons and wreaths and things you're gonna decorate with are protected. Over here, we've got another mesh pocket, but then up here, you've got these beautiful pockets. So much organization, and they're so pretty. So pretty, guy. Yeah. I had the blue, <laughs> you know, Danny's a couple years from this, but with my oldest, and my two oldest, I said, all right, there's all kinds of linens and things in here. There's all kinds of appliances as I've upgraded appliances. And I put them in a really oversized one. And I said, you kids, whoever moves out first <laughs> yeah. gets all these wonderful things. <laughs> and they both went out to the garage and yeah. unzipped it and went, wow. And by the way, this is a, a really nice uh, material that just yeah. wipes down. It's like so a it's canvas. Neat. It's yep. a canvas that mm -hmm. keeps clean. And they went out and they filed through it like it was a garage sale. Yeah. Wow, I can't wait to move out. This is great stuff. This is all good. And, and when she moved out, she yeah. just toted her whole bag of stuff to her new place. So she much was easier. So excited you know, and, to go and to I'm college. telling you, even if you just <clears throat> if you just bought this for your ornament box, I mean, we, we, we could have named it that. That's how perfectly designed it is for that. Uh, it'll do anything. But if you just bought it for for uh, things that you that you collect and have over the holiday season. I mean, I, and it could be your, uh, I've got a whole box outside, huge uh, bin uh, of, that's just Halloween stuff. Oh, I mean, you can utilize it for that and it keeps it. And then, and you know what else I love about this? There's no covers to have to take on and off. It zips up. You know, a lot of times the cover cracks or you lose the cover. Right. Or, or you have the snap on cover and the little snaps break. That'll never happen with this. You can, you're gonna have this for year after year after year. You know how I can tell you're a single guy? You How's have that? one bin of Halloween stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty certain we have nine. <laughs> No. Well, you got all your various masks and assorted frightening torture devices. Frightening torture devices yes. and what? Everybody's got a mask. You got a mask, right? I got a, yeah, I got a Everybody's mask. Everybody's got a mask. The witch hat. Yeah. The big witch hat. Takes up a lot of space. Spiders and skeletons yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and webbing and things. Now, I had to go back to this before we lose time because this has been one of the most popular things as we have brought this to you. Crafters. Crafters love this because the organization, the capacity, the fact that you can put in a full sewing machine. The cricket is down here. The big laminator is down here. I mean, just toting this, this is another 12 to 15 pounds right, right. here. And then keeping all of your gift bags. You, just you've not easily got 30 pounds worth of stuff in there. Just easily. not getting yep. these ruined before the next time you have to give right. a gift is worth the money right there. And then to be able to pull this around and, I mean, feel, you, feel you know, that, buddy. You know, I, I'll tell you, yeah, there's a lot of weight inside here. I, I will tell you, it, it, you know, I, I go back to my, when um, I lived in Connecticut and I was a kid. And my parents, you know, in Connecticut, we have basements and we have attics. Um, I actually, parents had two attics, two separate levels of an attic. And you know what was up in there, Tim, was just cardboard box after box of stuff that my mom had collected over years. And do you know that the boxes were all broken? Oh. And and it just and when they had to move out of that house, one of the biggest things they had to do was transfer everything out of cardboard boxes into like nylon and, and zippered. They had to do it because every box just from sitting in an attic just up there fell apart. And you would think it was protected, but it wasn't. It was now there was dust everywhere on things. It was Here's terrible. the thing: so you're getting this, you're getting the cube that's over here on the side. 
you don't have to use this in the box. So if you have like a crafting thing here, yeah. you've got the cube for more organization. So I think this one over here, we've got yarn in. Yeah. Um, that's almost Michelle's cue to come back out. Um, <laughs> and then you've got that's good. another one. See how I worked her back in? You did. And then you've got another. This is the one that comes with it, the 16 by 16 by 16, that you've got your peekaboo side on and your labeling that you can use up in the closet. Yeah. Maybe you put the holiday tablecloth it, in here. It, I mean, if you just got one, if you just got the big bin for 49, it's it's a great deal. We threw in the cubicle as well, and a lot of people are going to use this every bit as much. You know, when you're using it for Christmas, like we said, you can use you can put all your ornaments in there, and then you can put some whatever it is fluff in there to holiday keep table. It you know, we've yeah. got the tree skirts. We just reorganized yeah, oh yeah, upstairs. Yeah. You got so many. My tree skirts in a plastic bag. I, I should be ashamed of myself. You really should be. All right, I, well, I'm gonna get one for holiday. Cause I also, you know what else? My wrapping papers and all that stuff, all my yeah. decorative stuff. That I tried to put that in the bin and the bin broke. And you know what? That's six to eight to ten dollars a roll. Yeah. And the gift bags, just keeping that stuff safe is worth saving. That's the price of one bin. All right, well listen, we have this, and don't forget to have a quick reminder of the colors. And then Tim, I want to really quickly just hit on the extra sizes that we have, okay? So so here's the colors, really quick. All right, and you can just choose. Remember, all exclusive colors, brand new, exclusive sizes, all right here. You can't get them anywhere else. I love the padded handles. I love that they're super durable, they're gonna last you for years. Uh, that we have all these different colors and patterns, whatever you need. And don't forget that Tim has available, and I'm gonna step in really quick, the inserts. And a lot of people are buying this and they're buying every insert or two and three sizes. And, and I wanna tell you a great value, the storage system, great value, the 16 by 16 by 16 is the one that comes with it, but this is $20 you're getting with the bag. You get a four pack of the small rectangular size or a two pack of the 16 by 16 by eight. So two of those, four of the 16 by 16 by twos, or a one of the 16 by 16 by 16. I when I'm excited about a deal. It was very exciting. <laughs> I was so, I was just like, did you hear me sneeze? I just, it's amazing. <laughs> now, you know what I sneeze? The dirt, dusty old boxes are the ones that are bad. These are great. And these wipe right down, keep the dust off. We're gonna send these out to you. You're gonna have them in about a week or so, and you'll be prepared when you need to move stuff and when you need to pack stuff up, and it'll stay nice and neat and tidy. When are you coming back, my friend? I'll be back in the noon. These will be available with the Rebecca and the 11. Fantastic. Here's Michelle, got a message for you. So we've been spending the whole morning getting the home ready for fall, but if you want to get your wardrobe updated, you are in luck because we are so excited. We will have Marla Wynn here this week with a very special today special, but you should know you can already check out her entire collection online right now. There are some really great deals like this drama kimono you're seeing right now. This is one of our hot items. It's $40 off. It's brand new. It comes in seven colors and it's a medium weights, really cozy sweater knit kimono that you can, you know, layer. It's oversized, it's comfortable, but it's really chic and pulled together. Everything we love about Marla Wynn. So that is part of our hot item store. And you can go to hsn.com and type in hot items and you'll see all of the big hot items that we have available right now at some fantastic prices as well. So make sure you go ahead and check that one out. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a few, but we want to give you some details on our amazing craft event. Take a look at this. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say Y-E-S to DIY at HSN. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers.
determine as closely as possible the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. So take a look at what you're looking at. And you're like, what's that strange light? Well, that is the Fieldsmith solar, pow uh, solar powered spotlights you're looking at. These things are amazing. We've got them down below, down there, and you kind of got them up here too. This kind of gives you an idea of how much light you get. When you look at them like that, you don't see much, but when you see the reflective light, these things are amazing. Totally solar powered, $29.95 for two. Uh, we put them on price break today. I'm buying these, I can't wait to get these. Pete knows I've been trying to get spotlights in the backyard forever, but I didn't want to run the wires back there. These are wireless, they utilize the sun all day, and then when the sun goes down, these pop up and they give you that powerful 200 lumens, that's crazy power, in a spotlight times two. Go through really quickly the features before Pete gets out here. So you got a built-in sensor for automatic dust to dawn operation, easy installation, and the best part again, you don't need any skills. You simply stick these in the ground. They got a giant solar panel that sucks up the, the sun all day, and then it powers and energizes that light all night. So these are these are a must have. Anybody that wants to improve a little more security in their yard needs to get these. Here's my man, Peter Kilcullen, to tell hey us about guy, it. Hey, how are buddy. you? We both have families. Yes. We both worry about our, you know, our families when we're not around, and we'd like to have a little more light on the property. These give it to us. No, absolutely. And I know a, a lot of people are just like Guy and I, and you want to add that light. You want to get in a specific area, but maybe it's that area all the way in the front of the house or at the driveway near the right. street. And you're thinking, how am I going to get power there? Because there, there are big spotlights like this, but you have to run a wire, and then you have to figure out a timer, things like that. Finally, and we, we launched this earlier in the season, and finally you're able to have a solar-powered spotlight that really is exactly that. It's a true spotlight. And look at that without having this on. It's much easier to see that we've got four different LEDs in there, each one giving you 50 lumens, guy, for a total of 200, 200 lumens. 200 lumens. That's a lot. Now, if you're wondering how bright is 200 lumens, I mean, your typical flashlight, even that, that big kind of cool flashlight that you have in the drawer in the kitchen, that's typically only going to be about 100 lumens. Yeah. So you're talking about a very bright light, a bright light, a true spotlight, and here's the coolest part right there, that solar panel. This took Huge. a lot of technology to yeah. get this together because we have to power up or draw enough power from that sun into that solar panel to power panel to charge this up and to give you what you really want a bright bright light that'll run for eight hours every single night and look at that you can go all the way around nothing to do except stick that in the ground and then here's the cool thing you can direct that solar panel where you want oh, it so best. it can get the most sun exposure so you get that long run time and then same thing with the spotlight imagine having a solar spotlight and do some of the things that are so popular in sort of in that landscaping right now and what's that guy I love quizzing you. <laughs> you gotta see the look on his face. He's like, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't know no, it was up lighting, right? You knew that. Everybody loves up lighting. Right, so he the knew. The first thing I did when I lived in Arizona is I, I said, you know, I have this three story house. I want the lights to go up the house so it looks exactly. pretty. Exactly. You can create so many neat, you know, effects with this lighting. Not only up lighting on the trees here yeah. in Florida, you know, certainly the palm trees. We love to have maybe just a single light up there. Or you could put these behind all the shrubs that you have in the front of your house and just put a splash of light on onto the house, yeah. it looks fantastic. You can create some really cool things. And when you see this at night, you're gonna be blown away that that's a solar powered it, it's, light. It's unbelievable. Normally, you know, when we do solar lights, we do solar uh, landscape lights, which are accent lighting. Very low power, they, they don't, you know, cause you, you can't have a big giant panel on each one. They have a little one built on top. It's great for just making some effective sort of mood lighting, right. but it's not gonna light up all your property. It's just gonna light up the front of the house. These will actually light up your entire house from the ground 
bound up in any area that you need. So if you're putting it on, you know, if you want to get, you want to do the whole house, you maybe get, maybe get two or three sets of these That'll and work them great. around the house. The reason the solar panel is so big is because they're spotlights. These are not accent lights. These are really going to light your property up. If you are looking for security, if you're looking to make the house glow at night, uh, you know, when you come in at night, you don't want it, you don't want it to be dark. Maybe you want to put this in the backyard. Maybe you want to put this off where your garbage bins are and stuff so you can keep some light there, keep the animals out of there. You can put them anywhere. Best part is, is what I just said, put them anywhere. And the reason you can do that is because you never have to worry about cords. You never have to put a timer on this thing. Right. As soon as the sun goes down, it knows exactly when to turn on. Dust to dawn, as we say but no trenching, no wiring, no digging ever. You stick it in the ground, you have instant protection, instant spotlight, and there's a reason that that panel is about five times the size of a regular panel on a solar light. It's a spotlight, and, and that makes I can't wait to try yeah, this. Exactly, and you were right. When you think about the path lighting, and we've, yeah. we've sold so many of these here, and they're great. Those path lights, each light is really only about wow. five or six lumens. Yeah, that's huge. And, and everyone loves the path lights, and they guide you up the path, but now you want to create some real lighting effects. Look at that. You're looking at 200 two lumens. Yeah, when you put the two of them together, it's, wow. it's fantastic. And I like what you were showing a second. So hold that one there, guy. Okay. But if I shine this even back towards you, or we were showing it on that, look at that now on the front of that display where we have those lights. When I shine that back on there, imagine that's the splash yeah. of light that can be on the front of your house. And we talk about, you can do so and many can different do it on angles. This side. Right, you can cross them. You can put the angles. You can put it behind your shrubs. Now you're talking about I mean, look at that. This is that's a huge. Hollywood premiere. Yeah, with, but that's with the a lights. lot. Yeah, but yeah. it's a tremendous amount of light. Look at that. Just if I move back even further, and it's just just that small little crossing pattern of light. Again, this would look so amazing on the front of your house. And then the up lighting as well, where you're able to, you know, have that light up or down. Hey, don't forget, I, I, this has that stake to go in the ground. But, guy, you can also <laughs> remove that stake. You could put this on the front of the garage. Maybe you have a, a shed in the backyard. You could mount that on there as well sure. and still get all that power. It is a fantastic, I mean, when you look at that, yeah. the, you know, what happens here is it's the combination of the technology in the solar panel, but then the technology in the LED lights that are in here. That has come so far because previously, if you didn't have LEDs in there, you'd burn up that power, whatever, yeah. whatever amount of power we were able to you know, get from the sun and charge the batteries, it burned out so quickly. But now LEDs are using so much you know, less energy, but they're <laughs> brighter, so you're getting that long runtime, right. eight hours of runtime. So again, you can look at that solar panel, and I'll show you on the back. We even give you an on-off switch. So if I turn this switch off, even if I co cover that solar <laughs> No, you did it. So there, it won't come on when I cover the solar panel just like that. So if you wanted to keep them from going on right away, right. you can do that. But now when I switch it and I cover that yeah, solar panel. Yeah, because it could panel, be Halloween and you on. might want to have decorative yeah. lighting out there and you, you don't want the do spotlights it. on. You exactly. can turn that you off. You can turn them off. They, listen, guys, these are going very quickly. They're customer pick on HSN.com. Peter, when I first walked out, he said, God, these are extremely popular. They've been doing so well. And I right. said, well, not only that, we got 10 bucks off today and they're on FlexPay. They put them on three flex of $9.98. Go ahead and buy yourself a couple couple sets on these. These is something I will buy after work today, I'm telling you, because I've got, you know, I have some uh, lights in the back that keep burning out, you know, and they're the old wired lights, the right. ones I didn't replace. They always... I got to replace those stinking bulbs the like, halogens. Every, like every three months, I got to replace those bulbs. They get wet, they burn, they pop. Those halogen bulbs, they were very bright, we yeah. like them, but honestly, if you put this up outside of your shed or your garage, you need to go up there and change those halogen the bulbs. They're the long skinny yeah. ones, you know, they're 10 bucks every time you go to get a new bulb. I mean, imagine a these. Bulb. They're, they're 10 to $12 per oh, yeah. bulb. Exactly. Yeah, so imagine being able to have these bulbs. These are LEDs. You're talking about thousands and thousands of hours. So these are going to have years, to, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's why we love LEDs. They're going to last. You're not going to have to change them. But then you're going to get a brighter light that uses less energy. So you're getting that long runtime. That's what we want. I mean, we all know that there's no way, if I came out here four or five years ago and said that we have a solar spotlight. It just wouldn't be bright enough. You wouldn't have that long runtime. But the technology is caught up. So now solar can give you exactly the same kind of effects that you wanted from those wired spotlights, but they were too expensive, too difficult to put them exactly where you want. But now you can have them. And you're getting both. So you're getting the two pack. You get two of two them. Two of yeah. these lights. And, and just with two lights, 
I mean, think about the front of your yard. You have your front door. What you could create maybe on either side of that front door, door with two spotlights is great. If you have our path lights, and so many people love them, we have, we have our color-changing path lights. Sure. Maybe it was an eight-pack or a 10-pack. Add these, and you're going to create an entirely different look, but it goes perfect with that. Yeah. If you had a landscape lighting designer come to your house, they're going to recommend path lights. Right. They're going to recommend some type of spotlight to give that dramatic throw of light either on the house or uplight the trees. That's exactly what they're going to recommend. So if you have the path lights, and I know so many people do, now add these spotlights, a real spotlight with four LEDs giving you 200 lumens that now you're gonna have exactly what you need to create. You know, those beautiful lighting looks, you see them at the really nice hotels or oh, yeah. maybe it's your, your favorite restaurant. That's why they look they, so cool. When they light, when they do landscaping, like they put them up a big tree, like up a palm tree. Perfect. Because it, it shines all the way up the palm, right up into the fronds. If you just use regular landscape lighting, it just, it lights up the ground area and it's still pretty, but it's not gonna light up that front of the house that makes the house glow at night. Uh, and, I, and I've always loved that lighting. You know, I think it makes a house look so beautiful. Oh yeah. Nice thing about this is you're never gonna you're never gonna get a bill for it. You don't pay any energy cost on this. I, and I love that every bit as much as the light itself. But let me let me tell you, you can go to any store and you can buy solar lights. But here's what I'll tell you. A, a, big portion of them are cheapos, all right? If you go out and you think you can buy a solar light for, for you know, like a three or four pack for $10 or $12, they're garbage. They're gonna be poorly made. They're gonna have little tiny solar cells. There's a reason the solar cell on this is so big because it has to power a spotlight. It's gotta be powerful. You've got four separate lights inside there that need to be powered. So you have this great light that you can adjust or this great panel. So wherever your sun is, you can actually adjust it to get the maximum amount of sun sure. up or down. Even during the day, like, you know, maybe if you're, let's say your house, this is going up on your house, well, the sun is going to be over here, right? Because it's going to be coming in like that. Depending on where your roof line is, you can actually manipulate this so you can get the maximum amount of sun. And then this thing is going to light up for eight hours and not just trickle up this is gonna pop and you're gonna be able to you're gonna light your whole house up with this thing yeah exactly and maybe some people are thinking you know certainly again a few years ago when solar technology just wasn't up to you know our expectations yeah that you would never think about well why am i gonna buy solar lights in september because you know normally they're done by the summertime and you get rid of them remember these are fully weatherproof and waterproof oh, and here's yeah. a couple things i want you to think about we've got a lot of fun holidays coming up certainly even just you know halloween coming sure. up and maybe you're gonna you're gonna put your decorations up for halloween and then we have thanksgiving and certainly christmas and all of our holidays you can now use these to direct that light onto you know i know that growing up we always had three wreaths on the front of the house yeah. and then we would have spotlights so we had all the extension cords running out onto the front of the lawn and out the front door to get to these lights. Now, you can pop these in the ground with the solar panel. You can direct this exactly where you want it. So maybe you can light up the wreath in front of your house or whatever yeah, kind of decorations nice. you have. Your little it's, nativity scene or whatever Yeah, exactly. It'd be really cool. There. Maybe yeah. you're using two of them on the front of that. So think about that, that these are going to be fine out there in all types of weather. They're going to be fine in the rain and they're going to, in the heat and certainly the, the snow. I would always say that uh, the only time they don't work, and I would say the same with the path lights, is when they're completely buried in snow. Yeah. So if they're covered with snow, snow's gonna Dust melt. Them off. We're going right back yeah, to it. It's gonna charge black. up and ready to go. Because <laughs> they'll exactly. melt the snow off. Yep. So you, you're gonna love these all year long, throughout the year, and then into the new year, these are gonna be really great. So imagine having that same light all yep. through the, the fall and winter. And you'll never have to worry about burning out the individual bulbs like you do right. with algae. You know the other thing about algae too? Did they ever tell you, oh, by the way, uh, you know, put alcohol in your hands and yeah, use gloves when you, but otherwise, it. yeah, if you touch it, you ruin the light and it pops. Exactly. And that's how they justify paying 12 dollars It's ridiculous. I have to, you have to put anymore. them on, you have to put them on with, a, with a, like a pair of pliers. That's the only way to do it. It's a nightmare. You're not going to want to deal with that. These, you get that super powered light. Pete, how many lumens again? That's a, 200 that's lumens. That's a lot of lumens. Yeah, well, we're, well, our sun's going down. flashlight is 50. So this is like four flashlights going up your house. Yeah, I mean, when you see it, and there you can see it and it looks really bright. Now, I will tell you this, no matter what happens and how you're looking at this look at, at home, at it's reflection. never going to look as bright as it does in person because the cameras aren't used to this low well, light they level. They filter out a lot right. of the bright light. But when you too. see this, yeah. and I'll, I'll look at that. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. I made the lights even go off by shining it with this that's light. Because you can see that, how they, they <laughs> react to the light. They're going to go off.
as I shine onto that solar panel. But you can see how, and I'll, I'll move even a little bit closer, and look at that, how you can create yeah. all those designs, either up or down, however you want to design that light, you can do it. Now remember, I can put these overhead, over the driveway. They create a tremendous amount of light, 200 lumens. They look like they're flashing there every time I flash that light on them. But it is an incredible amount of light, and I know it's hard to believe. Pete, it goes all the way up to the ceiling. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> here, yeah. When, I'm way in the back here. Now, again, when I'm me. looking oh, at you, here. this is lighting you up, guy. But right. the cameras aren't going to see that as well because you're too far back. Right. But it is an amazing amount of light. If I move a little, there you go. Well, here's me. Closer. It gives you an idea how, and you can sort of see it. If, I, you can't tell how, what it's like here in the but ceiling But it's lighting here. up that whole back but, area of the oh, yeah, set. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes, it goes straight up, and it's going way up to the top of the ceiling, and that's because these things are super, super bright. They really are. You're, you're turning mine off because of, yours is like the sun. But yeah, it it's really up. bright. It really anyway, is neat. Anyway, you know, it's, and it's really, it, it, Peter's right. It's really hard to tell you how bright they are in a studio. There's no way. Right. So, hey, listen, I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. Buy them, get them home for $9.98 on FlexPay. If they are not what we say they are, you return them. But you're going to put them outside. And you're going to be like, those two guys were right, man. This is bright. <laughs> it's true. And you're going to have to do nothing. <laughs> you're just going to get them home and yeah. put them just like that. And then you can direct Easy. that. You know, you'll change it every day if you want. But you'll love these spotlights. When are you coming back, young I Peter? will be back in a really cool, exciting show at 2 p.m. You're amazing. It's a Halloween show. All right. But I have some lights. It's, All right. It's well, I'll see you because we both Halloween. Say hi to can Deb I stay, and Harry. Or am I done? Now you're finished. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. See you, Petey. All right, everybody. Uh, hey, I want to remind everybody again about our best value of the day. Uh, which, by the way, is amazing. If you're looking for great storage options, this is for you. Uh, we have exclusive colors. We have exclusive patterns. All kinds of great ways that you can store things in style. Don't use cardboard boxes. Those are nasty. They're just, and they fall apart. I mean, why, why would you do that? What's wrong with you? Use real storage containers. It'll make you very, very happy at the end of the day. Just like Matt Davis makes me very happy. You, you know why? You because sir. you know what makes me unhappy, Mr. Davis? What makes you unhappy? I what? bet you I know. Matt Davis is here. What makes me unhappy, and I'm okay. Let me tell you what I'm okay with. Okay with snakes. They don't bother me. Nope. Uh, what I really, I, what I really don't like is I don't like the crawly things. Like I, I, my worst, most hated thing is cockroaches. Really? Or palmetto bugs. I worked in the restaurant business for 15 years, so I, I, I lived with yeah. that. Yeah. They're everywhere. I'm not big on mice. Don't bother me as much oh. as rats. I've had issue well, with, with those before. As well. I, I, <laughs> mice and rats are. Yeah. It's just right. a lot of traffic around here. Well, anyway, there's a lot going on. This is the best configuration we've ever done before when it comes to uh, Bell & Howell's pest repellers. This is a total repelling system. You are getting a 10-pack of these guys, which is absolutely huge, Matt. And we're getting uh, different sizes. This is going to protect our entire property. This is it. Yeah. This is the set that you want to cover your entire home. Because with the Bell & Howell pest repellers, what you're getting is ultrasonic technology. It, this is like a little speaker that sends out a sound wave. You can't hear it. Your dogs, cats, kids can't hear it. But the rats, the mice, the cockroaches, the ants, and the spiders hear it. All you do is you plug one in. You're going to use one in each room, okay? Don't put it behind the refrigerator or the couch. Put it out where the sound waves can do their work. Independent laboratory tested. It chases away 99.9% .9 of the cockroaches, ants, spiders, and the rats and the mice. The rats and the mice are the ones that I just can't stand. But you plug these in and you let them go to work. And it's like fingernails on a chalkboard. They can't stand that sound. That, and you're not going to hear it. There's nothing to refill. There's no poisons to buy. There's no reason to have to, to uh, go out every single month and buy new, new traps or new baits or new sprays the bell and howl gets the job done and you see they all you do is you plug them in we're giving you a great variety in this kit you're getting a 10 pack it's going to cover the average home you don't have to buy multiple packs by the way guy you worked in the restaurant industry mm -hmm. i'm sure you've heard this sound yeah unfortunately in the middle of the night yeah. if you've heard this I heard sound that in my attic once you hear yeah here in florida yeah, yeah exactly yeah, well if you hear that sound and you've baited a trap you have one less rat, so that's good, I guess. But now you have a dead rat to deal with. Mm. I don't want to do this. I just want to plug something in and use technology to chase them away. And I don't want the little guys dead. I just want them out of my house. If you're not paying rent, you're not staying with me. But rats and mice is what these were originally developed for. Then they upgraded them so that they're effective on, on ants. 
Think about spiders. There's nothing that really attracts oh. that kills a spider except for a shoe. Uh, I mean, a big shoe, uh, depending on the size. Yeah. Or ants, roaches, cockro cockroaches, any kind of you know cockroaches. You spiders? Because I, I, I said cockroaches are my worst, but my, yeah. my absolute worst. See, cockroaches I hate anytime. I'm okay with You know what I don't I like at night them. is spiders because oh. spiders have the ability yeah. to be up high Right over your drop bed. Drop down yeah, on, on no. these little threads. No, that's not good. And they will no, land. No, they won't. Yeah, no. they've, I, I've had one <laughs> land on me before, uh, and I will tell you. And they, and they also spiders can be really teeny tiny where you don't even see them. Yep. Some of the most dangerous and ones dangerous. are really small. Yep, absolutely. Um, same with ants. You know, little fire ants. Have you ever had deal with fire ants before? Nasty little things. I, I listen. I'm not in it to kill all the insects. It's not, I, they were here long before we were, and they'll be here long afterwards. But the point is I don't want to cohabitate with them. I don't need to live with them. I don't need them in my house. They can stay outside. What this does is this creates a force field inside. Ultrasonic, uses sound. And these little uh, insects who have, um, often have very keen senses, or very sharp senses when it comes yep. to smell and sound and things like that, their senses are already mm -hmm. overly developed. They can hear the sound that you can't hear. And they don't want to be any part of it. It's uncomfortable for them, so they stay away. That's right. So, so the problem with all these things mm -hmm. that Matt is showing you, these are treatments once the problem is already yeah, once inside. they're in your house, right. and then you've got you've got all these rat. Po this is rat poison. This is real rat poison. Yeah, they make it look like candy. That's poison. a smart thing. Yeah, to do, not right? good for dogs, cats, right. uh, kids. God forbid. But you've got your, all your traps. You've got this is a live trap guy. I like that. It's a nice idea. You don't want to kill uh. the little mouse. But now you have a live mouse in a. a in a box. Not my idea of a fun afternoon trying to figure out, do you take it to your neighbor's house? I'm not sure. And then you got the sticky trap here where they, they get their little foot caught in there and they, they kind of die slowly. Not, not, not nice to it's do. It's awful. Not right. the best way to yeah. do it. And then you've got all your sprays, these chemicals. If I took one of these sprays and sprayed it in the studio, they would chase me out of here with a stick because these are all have warnings all over the back of them. But you're spraying all these and putting all these poisons in your house. This is not a smart solution. And then you have separate sprays for ants, for spiders, for all those things around the house. You don't need any of this. How about you get the Bell & Howell home? And by the way, independent laboratory tested. So it's not HSN saying, it's not Bell & Howell saying it. It's independent laboratory tests have proven that these are effective. We've sold over five million of these yeah. on HSN. Five million rooms that don't have these problems anymore. This is a great solution. And, and, and what's nice about it too is it's an instant solution. You know, yep. normally when you have to bait something, you have a, mm -hmm. a, you have a, a sort of a little period there where, um, um, you know, things have to be digested and then they run off. Yeah, you get, you get, yeah if you get a poisoned uh, animal, a poisoned rat or a mouse, it's going to die somewhere where it can crawl away. And that's usually behind a wall, under a bed, something like that. Is that really what you want? You want a dead mouse under your bed? I don't. Nope. What's nice about these is they're a humane way to keep the animals on the outside. They just don't like the noise. Is it safe for my dog? Yes. Is it safe for my cat? Yes. Um, if you do have a, a rodent type of pet, right. like a gerbil just or a hamster, Right, don't put, don't it in the put room. one in that yep. room. That's exactly. all you need to do. Um, if you've got little ones, right, that can't, you can't protect themselves. What if you, you know, I told this story and I'll tell it again just because it's an interesting story. Uh, when Danny was little, uh, we Your just son, moved Danny. to Florida. My, I'm talking little teeny tiny, like in a crib type thing, a little bit older than that. So maybe just not quite a year. So at the time I walk into him, see him in the morning and I notice that in his crib, I see little what look like little legs, like from a, some sort of an insect. And then I look over to his little mouth and I see no, you a little, not. yeah, a little no. something. I'm like, and I'm like, oh no, he grabbed a cockroach <laughs> and he thought it was a toy and then he tried to eat it. It was horrific because oh then, my you know, gosh. Uh, my, you know my, me and my ex, you know, we were running around like, oh my gosh, you know, this kid, yeah, he I, ate a poison cockroach. We called oh, the doctors, all this stuff. All could have been settled by having one of these in mm -hmm. his room and keeping them out. Great I know point. that's an awful story, but it was actually, now it's funny because I, he's 16 <laughs> and I'm God, like, dude, okay. don't eat exactly. bugs. <laughs> and, uh, and we can laugh at it now, but it was really scary back then. But uh, listen, I ran a restaurant where we actually had, we had a, there was a rodent problem and we had this main conference room where people would go in and we rent it out every day and all of a sudden we we're sitting there one me and my and the GM were talking one day and I'm like you smell something he goes yeah man I smell like it smells like rotting something mm -hmm. we had to have a contractor come in and rip out one of the walls there was a yeah. dead rat behind yeah. the wall the because it ate 
it and ain't. You, and yeah. you know that smell. Even at this it's, moment, yeah. you remember it. It's one of those things you so, never forget. Don't do it. Don't we do are it. getting yeah. extremely busy right now. 1,500 people have already picked it up. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, what. we're going to get to Nancy. He's going to be on the phone in one sec. But I want to tell you, the most complete kit that we do, most people will buy a four-pack or a six-pack, and then they want more. Absolutely. Or they give them to their family and friends. You know, you can put three or four of these in an apartment. I also like the feature that you see that there's a little, yep. a little red indicator light at night when you look in the window it looks like an alarm that's a good point I, and i because everybody's uh, like do you have a line i'm well, like you look in my windows you think there's like eight alarms going that. off at the <laughs> same time anyway uh matt let's say hi to nancy oh good in hey, texas nancy. hi nancy welcome into hsn good morning good morning nancy hey nancy do me do us a favor because i know you own these will you tell okay. everybody out there what your experiences are with it and how easy it was for you well you know you just plug them in and like i told the operator um I lost my husband last year, okay. and so I moved in with my 80-year-old mother, right. and I didn't realize my mother had the problem that she did. Right. And, um, you know, I've never taken care of a mousetrap. My husband always did that, so I've had to learn a lot this last year. But this is absolutely disgusting to catch those little vomits. You know, it gets to almost the point where it makes you mad because you set a trap and you don't get it. Get the I know. You have to do it again, and you, you know, just makes me really determined. Okay, I'm gonna get you this time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. You know so. I know. Nobody, we don't want to live with those things. I mean, listen, like I said earlier, Nancy, it's like I'm not trying to kill all the rats and the spiders. I just don't want to live with them, you know? No, I don't either. And I'll tell you a story right quick. Last year, I opened up a cabinet, uh, a top cabinet. Yeah. And I was on the phone, and there was one out in, during the day at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And it had unwrapped a cough drop. Oh, oh yeah. I was sitting there holding this cough drop, and I thought, Oh my God. Anything yeah. they can get, anything they can get their little paws on, right? Always healthier yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, well, Nancy, listen, I appreciate your feedback. That's a great, great uh, story, and, I'm, and I am, I hope things will work out uh, great for you with them. Yeah, so, you absolutely. know, everybody loves these, and everybody yeah. has different situations that they use them. I wish we had them in the when I ran restaurants. We, you know, because we'd have these in every restaurant because we don't like to use poisons. You have the things I, that they want. They we had want a guy the food, that used to come in. His name was Buggy. That was actually his nickname. Buggy? Hey, Buggy, come in, and he would put this. With this white powder all in corners. It was awful. We had to do Boys. it because yep. our restaurant was right yep. next to a movie theater. There was popcorn everywhere. The bugs were, they would go crazy. Plus, yep. you know, you have a winter and then when the winter comes on and you turn the heat on, all the bugs come out. This sure. is a way to protect your and here's home. here's the installation. To protect, yeah, show everybody oh, I gotta that. show the installation. Yeah, watch I, how hard this is. Watch how easy, <laughs> here's how easy it is. All you need, it doesn't take up two outlets. And by the way, you're getting an assortment, so you're getting some with the night lights. You're getting some with the bonus outlet on the side, so you're not even losing one outlet. You plug these in, you have nothing to lose, but all of those pests, all of those cockroaches, ants, and spiders. When, when you see that in the morning, or you turn a light on and you hear that scurrying across the floor, you know, they're everywhere in Florida, so I grew up with cockroaches. Yeah. But uh, we didn't, you know, we didn't know any better. We would just take poisons and spray them everywhere, and and hope that that would do the business. But they'd always come back. They always come back. You're spending money every month. You're spending five, ten dollars on poisons to spray, and then you have to get something different for the ants, for the sugar ants, and right. then for rats, you have to have the big traps again, and you have to bait them, and you, you know, you're putting like peanut butter there, but mm. then it attracts ants and instead of you're, rats you're and then flies, you have to get a different though, right? yeah it's it's you're, crazy you're not you get gonna, one yeah. you get rid of one instead of solving the entire problem and especially if you live in an apartment or a condominium and you share walls you know, you don't know how the person next door, how they keep their house. Is it clean? Is it tidy? Is it nice? Right. Or are they leaving food out that attracts these rodents, these these pests, these ants, uh, these spiders? So get these home and try them. Plug them in. Try them for a couple weeks. Yeah. They're so easy. Your kids can't hear it. The dogs, cats can't hear it. You're going to absolutely love Matt, them. Matt, it's the best money you'll ever spend. It's $39.95 for 10 of these, okay? 10. It is such Amazing. a good deal. We do five packs and six that, packs, which are about $30. Special. Oh, really? Yeah, it really is. It's a this day only. <clears throat> the price will go back up $20 tonight at midnight. So if it. you don't like ants, spiders, uh, silverfish, 
cockroaches, uh, if you don't like rats or mice, anything that creepy crawls that shouldn't be in your house, this is a way to keep them on the outside. Remember, if you are if you're using any of the poisons, yep. that's a product that that treats with a problem that's already in your house, and you're also exposing your family to those poisons. Think about it. If you can kill a cockroach, which has been around for a millions and millions of years, yeah. way before us, with a little bit of spray, if you can kill an animal like that or a creature like that, insect like that, you probably are doing damage to your family you're as poisoning, well. You're poisoning so your house. Don't, Who needs to do it? Right, and you've got kids walking around. You probably have other pets, right? Yeah, dogs. This cats. this will readily discern between the pets you want the pets you don't want in there because right. nobody wants little creepy crawly pets i don't want a spider on a leash i'm no. not going to name it sorry charlotte but charlotte's web was a <laughs> fake thing and i'll leave that in for real the life neighbor. charlotte was getting leave that you for know. the neighbor yeah but, I'm not, not anyway, so much. anyway matt davis great job as thank always you. thank you guys. Uh, we just went over 1800 of these spoken well, for great it. deal it's yeah. a this day only don't wait till later when the price goes back up and you can get it on for 13 dollars and 32 cents all right you're coming back at four four o'clock thank you my friend tune in you do it. You do good work. You You're do taking good care work. of those bugs one at a time. <laughs> I want to remind you of our best value of the day, our today special, which I believe is coming up again with Shannon in a couple of hours. Shannon, you coming back tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, Shannon, come back tomorrow. All right. So Shannon's going to show you our next presentation. This is our rolling storage bag and cube, and I know Shannon's got lots of kids. They're running all over. She's got many, many kids. And if she wanted to store things for her children, she could do it right here with HSN. And you can't find these anywhere else. What would you store in yours? I can't store a child in there, guy. But I can store all their stuff. Stuffed yeah. animals. My daughter's got stuffed you animals could, like crazy. Yeah. Just don't tell anybody if you put kids. <laughs> yes. No. No, they'll find their way in. Oh, it's a fort. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah exactly. Anyway, uh, so you can still get those at only $49.95. What do you have coming up? I have sewing solutions. I've got Halloween Amazing. treats and fall treats. And then, of course, I've got our today's special. But I'll see yeah. you tomorrow. Yeah, oh, Haunted House ooh, coming up. Ooh, yeah. And I love your pumpkin shirt. <laughs> see us tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> see you now. All right, that's the end of HSN.